Maths Prof and today I'm going to show you how to use standard form. Standard form is just a handy way of writing really big or really small numbers. Here I've got a few examples of really big and really small numbers so I'm going to turn those into standard form and afterwards I'm going to show you how to do it the other way around. So let's look at the first few. So these are three large numbers. When we turn these numbers into standard form, we need to first of all write the number so that it's in between 1 and 10. So in the first example, I'm going to write the number 3 because that number is between 1 and 10. Next, I have to write times 10. Now when we're using standard form, we always write times 10. It's just the format that we use. Now, we need to write a power here because we can't just leave it like this because 3 times 10 is 30 and the number here is 3000. So we need to look to see how many places we've moved the decimal. The decimal used to be here and now if I'm making this number 3, it's moved to there. So you can see the decimal, it looks like it's jumped 3 places here. So the power we put on the 10 is 3. So this is equal to the number 3,000, because 10 cubed is 1,000, and 3 times 1,000 is 3,000. So here we go, we've done the first one, that's now in standard form. In the next one, if we want to write this number between 1 and 10, this number here should be written as 4.2. Then remember, for standard form, you always have to write times 10. So here, I'm writing times 10. And then for the power, I need to check to see how many places the decimal has moved. So, it used to be here, and now it's in between the 4 and the 2, because we've got 4.2 here. So when I check this time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's moved 5 places, so the power on the 10 is 5. Okay, so this number is now in standard form. Now, the last large number. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure this number is between 1 and 10, so 5.67, okay, so I'm using the same numbers, I'm just putting the decimal in between the 5 and 6. Then, as before, we write times 10, and then to find the power, you check to see how many places the decimal has moved. So it used to be there, and now we're placing it between the 5 and the 6. So if I count the digits here, I've got 7. So that gives me the power on the last question, okay? Now, with the small numbers, it's almost the same, okay? It's still the same idea with this number between, between 1 and 10 and times in by 10, except the power this time is going to be negative. So whenever you've got really small numbers, like these ones, the power on the 10 will be a negative power. So, let's do the first one. To make this number between 1 and 10, I need to write 4. Then I'm going to write times 10, just as before. I'm also going to check to see how many places the decimal has moved, and it's moved three times. But remember, it's a negative power because it's a small number. So this time, it's negative three. Okay, the next example, same thing as before. Write the number between one and 10, so this becomes 5.6. Then we write times 10. And then you count to see how many places the decimal has moved. So it used to be here, now it's here. So it's moved five digits. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. So the power on this one is negative five. Now the last one we're going to turn into standard form. This time we're going to put the decimal here so that we've got 4.03 because this number is between one and 10. Then I'm going to write times 10, and then lastly, I check to see how many places the decimal has moved. So we started here, now we're there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's moved 4 places, so the power is negative 4. So here we've got some examples turning the numbers into standard form, now I'm going to show you how to do it the other way around.